Yeah, welcome back to the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time for today in history, and I'm going back to the year 2020, just a year ago. On this day in history, March 30th, 2020, a British pensioner, Robert Wheaton, becomes the world oldest man, aged 112. Today in history, he was officially confirmed as the oldest living person at the age of 112 and a day on 30th of March today in history. He, he scooped this title after, you know, Ch Chetesu Wanabe from Japan passed away on February 23rd. And the thing is, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the officials of the Guinness World Records could not actually go to his house in person, you know, to meet with him. But, you know, he also celebrated his last birthday when he clocked 112 behind closed doors in his house because of the COVID-19 pandemic. He was also unable to receive, you know, that personal visit, like I mentioned, to be recognized formally as the world's oldest man. During his lifetime, Mr. Wheaton worked as an engineer and spent his time in Taiwan, in Japan and Canada. And sadly, May 28th, 2020, he passed away, uh, died from cancer at the age of 112 and 60 days. When he died, he had 10 grandchildren and 25 great grandchildren. He described himself as an eco warrior. He was very environmental friendly. He was an environmental act activist and he was the first British man to you know, have the, the title for the world's oldest man after uh, Henry Allingham. And remember when he passed away May 28th, the world really mourned. We saw you know, all the major news networks talking about how he died peacefully in his sleep and just how much he achieved his family members talking about how he loved to laugh and just his personality how he was just such a great conversationalist a great father he was witty kind and how much they would miss him well yeah. um so two things i guess you know first of all is you know how many people really want to live that long you know and be 112 years and second what really is the secret to Longevity. Long life and longevity, you know. What, what is the secret, you know, to keeping yourself um, alive for 110 years? Drinking water years and plus? minding your business. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be more than that, you know. There has to be a little bit more than that because, you know, there are people who live healthy, you know, and, you know, work out, you know, eat healthy at the same time. You still don't make it that far. There's people if, who, if the and look at, look at how wild this is. You get to 112 and you still die of cancer, you know. So, uh, well, you know, we'll celebrate him and know that yeah, he lived a full life um, to get that far. There's also, of course, people who would argue that there's people here in Nigeria and across Africa that have even gone way beyond 112, true, true. 116, 125. Well, because even, they didn't keep records yeah. you know, back then where, you know, they, they did not Sadly, do birth registration. Yes. And you, you, lots of our great-grandparents or grandparents don't even know how old they are or even their birthdays. So or because they have a system that properly keeps records of things like this. That's how you can know, oh, I'm 112 today. A 112-year-old man here in Nigeria very likely doesn't know where his birth certificate is or, you know, maybe also doesn't have one. I mean, so, so we Maybe do when estimates. we get that old, we'll definitely yes. know. We're the woke generation. Uh, well, Gen we would Z. see. Gen, you remember that Twitter battle? <laughs> but coming back here, you know, to Nigeria, you know, checking out the life expectancy, statistics from, you know, 2018 show that the life expectancy here in Nigeria is 54 years old, 54.33 years old. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't know. I think they probably need to do another one in another five you know, to ten years and see if that has changed um, because you know, things are different now. Uh, the pressure on the Nigerians is a lot you know, um, a worse lot, now. A lot the, you more, know, and yes. of course, uh, uh, the, the little factors here and there that reduce life expectancy seem to be you know, a, a, lot, a lot more these days. Mm -hmm. But would see. Um, congratulations to him, um, waiting and his, yeah. you know, his family. Just, just, um, to, just to chip that in, women, you know, the life expectancy for women is much longer. It has than, to be. Than men. It has to be. Why? But you Why complain. Does it have but to you, be? but you guys complain we the stress most. More. No, we stress more. Please. I mean, I woke up this morning. I already cooked. I already packed lunch. So you can imagine the stress. Patriarchy, you yet you up, live longer. You woke up and you came to work this morning. <laughs> 
The patriarchy is killing us, yet you live longer. <laughs> I guess we just know how to move. There's more men in prison. There's time. more men, you know, committing suicide. There's more men who are unemployed. There's there's so many of these figures that show that life really is very, very tough on men. But, life is tough you know. for everybody. And like I said, we women just have better stress management mechanism and better time management, you know, abilities, okay. basically. So you All guys right. should take a cue from us. Today in history, let's go back to 2017. We're talking now of something that um, is very, yeah, I don't know what year we would have these type of conversations here in Nigeria, but it, it's about the LGBTQ and transgender laws in the United States. In 2017 in North Carolina, uh, lawmakers passed a bill that repealed the state's controversial bathroom law in a move meant to end a year of turmoil that, of course, saw businesses leave and major sporting events and concerts were cancelled. It was an era uh, that, you know, created a lot of conversations about the rights of, that people had, transgender people had, to use, you know, certain bathrooms. Uh, the bill, a compromise agreed by uh, Cooper, who was a lawmaker, um, and the state's top two Republican legislators was, was approved by the House and Senate after a contentious debate. The bill had required that people at a government-run facility must use bathrooms and locker rooms that correspond to the gender on their birth certificate. So it was in 2017 that this bill was repealed and, you know, reversed. Um, the, the deal eventually came after several other failed attempts over the past year. Um, but this basically meant that, you know, it gave transgender persons in the United States the right to use whatever bathroom that they chose to identify with. So if a man woke up yesterday morning and, you know, decided, I choose to identify as a female, um, or rather if a person decides to identify as a female, even if he has male genitalia, um, he can use... Uh, a female bathroom. So Annetta can be in the bathroom and this... Yes, our gay can be in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, this is, I'm trying to paint the, pic the picture here. So mm -hmm. women can be, you know, in a bathroom that is originally designated for, for women, uh, for women, you know, and okay. then a man who decides that he, you know, chooses to identify as a woman can walk in. You know, into that, that bathroom, no and that for <laughs> so so that's really what it was about, you know. And I think you know they went further to start to change uh, the the what they call them inscriptions on bathrooms, you know, in public bathrooms. Yeah, the so there's post. not there's no longer male or female, you know. It is now. No, I saw one. There's male, there's female, then whichever. Uh, yeah, exactly. The gender neutral or yes. gender, you know, whichever uh, bathrooms. Um, I also saw someone post something a couple of days ago on social media. She was mm -hmm. complaining that she went into a, a gender neutral, you know, bathroom. Mm -hmm. And there were two guys who came in also. Um, and one of them went further, you know, to use the you know, bathroom right mm -hmm. next to her while she was, you know, um, undressed and all of that. And then there's a second one who stood by the door, you know. So, you know, she was complaining that she felt violated. Uh, but if she, she identifies abused. as a guy, so no, no, so so, so this is what it is. So you know, then 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 someone commented and said that the guy who came, you know, into the bathroom user with you respected exactly. your views I, I, and I your, feel so you know, too. He didn't your, challenge you to say, "What are you doing here?" Exactly. He, he, and then then the one who stood outside also did the same thing. Respected the fact that you might need some privacy. So I'm not sure where exactly the problem is here. Mm. Um, I, I started by saying that these are conversations that it might be, it might take a long time before we get into the seven conversations here in Nigeria. Uh, we're still a long way from it, you know, but I feel like slowly we might start to accept that some of these things may be not necessarily the full-blown transgender um, narrative. Some of these things already exist in our community it and our does. society. I think the one we've managed to accept in a way, we might disagree with it, but one we've come to accept is cross-dressing. We see... There are lots of guys on Instagram who dress like women. Every other day, they're putting on lipsticks, they're wearing bras, and they're wearing gowns. And they're, funny enough, they do great makeup. They do better makeup than, than I do. You know, so I think that's, that's a part that we've come to accept, whether we like it or not. The world is evolving. Who knows what the world will be in the next few years and um, how it might be for us as Africans, even though we seem to want to hold on to our cultural, religious beliefs, the world is evolving and... Yes, it is. And we, we have to... Move. At some point, we have to catch up yes. um, somehow, some way. I, I don't agree with that they do better makeup, though. Uh, I've seen Trust some of, me, some they, of do. they do. They do it's, fantastic it's makeup. It's hideous. I even hear makeup um, artists fall over themselves to do makeup. To do makeup for them. Yeah. Okay, good luck. <laughs> All right, so, so it was on this day in 2017, uh, March 30th, that uh, this bill was repealed in North Carolina. Bathroom bill? Uh, yes, the bill, you know, to allow uh, transgender, um, you know, use of bathrooms without discrimination 
in North Carolina. Yes, and I told you about uh, a British pensioner named Robert Wheaton, who became the world's oldest man at the age of 112. This day in history in 2020, he passed away May 28th from cancer. Same here. All right. Good morning to you. We're moving into our first major conversation for today. Uh, we're going to be talking, you know, from the colloquium yesterday, the statements by President Mohamed Bouhari, Nigeria, of course, uh, and that national unity, Nigerians are better, uh, better together. Uh, that uh, comes up next with our guest, uh, Reverend Dakbo Daramola. Stay with us.